So fans of championship sides are already getting excited, with some talking up their chances of a push for promotion. Be warned though lads, there have been quite a few teams in the past who thought that way, and who looked like they were about to achieve it, only to completely mess up at the end. Let's take a look at a few examples. Leeds United 16-17. You have to feel for Leeds fans, how they didn't manage to salvage at least a playoff place last season is anybody's guess, and despite their good form this campaign, the Lily Whites will probably still wake up with PTSD style nightmares as the season kicks into the business end of proceedings. Under the tutelage of Gary Monk, Leeds were in the thick of the promotion hunt for the entirety of last season, and then they managed to hit form at the worst time, winning one of their remaining eight games, losing four of them. In the end, they finished seventh, five points outside the playoffs. Not exactly a very fair reflection of the season, but then again, if you can't beat the likes of Wigan Athletic on the last day of the season. Derby County, 14-15. How Derby County have not made it back into the top flight in the last 10 years is anybody's guess, considering they've been knocking on those playoff doors season after season. Maybe it's the footballing gods punishment for the club considering how much they embarrassed themselves last time they were in the top flight. A 35 year old Robbie Savage was never going to keep you up lads. Anyway it was during the 14-15 season when the wheels really came off the bus for the Rams, having somehow left Wembley empty handed the previous season, losing the playoff final to a 10 man QPR with a manager already thinking about which beach to spend his retirement at. They conspired to implode during the last 3 months of the season. Having been in contention for a playoff spot all season, the Rams won just 2 of their final 13 games, losing 5 of them. They might have been 5 points clear at the top of the table at the end of February, but at the end of the season in 8th, Steve McLaren insists he wasn't distracted by Newcastle sniffing about. It didn't matter much, he was sacked fairly quickly. Leicester City, 12-13. Maybe it's a bit harsh to include Leicester City on here, because really the blame lies with one man and one man only. Step forward Anthony Knockhart. They might have won the Premier League only a couple of years ago, but it was only 4 years ago that they were trying and failing to claw their way into the top flight via the Championship playoffs. A 5 game winning run, their second already that season, saw a night Pearson's men move 3 points clear of Hull City in 2nd, and then it all went wrong. 3 wins from their final 17 games, including 8 defeats, it was almost as if Lightning had hit the form guide, saw them scrape into the playoffs by the virtue of goal difference. And so, in the second leg of their playoff semi-final, the Foxes were tied on aggregate with Watford at 2 all when Pearson's men were awarded a last minute penalty at Vicarage Road. Knockhart accepted the chance to book a meeting with Crystal Palace in the final, but instead saw his effort saved, and could only watch in despair as 15 seconds later, the ball was in the back of the other net via the thumping boot of Troy Deeney. Cue delirium and Gianfranco Zola nearly getting crushed alive by a stampede of beer bellied Watford fans. It's all good now because both the Foxes and Knockhart have made it to the Premier League in the four years since, as have Watford, Deeney, and all the other teams that were in the playoffs that year. So, what a nice story all around. Nottingham Forest 09 10. To look at the 09 10 Championship table, it might look like Newcastle and West Brom ran away with the automatic promotion spots, leaving the likes of Cardiff and Leicester to be embarrassed by Black. Pool in the playoffs, but it wasn't like that. Despite finishing 12 points behind second place West Brom, Nottingham Forest were in the title hunt for the first six months of the season. They went 19 games without defeat, beat Newcastle, and by the end of January, Billy Davies' men were level on points with the Magpies at the top of the table. They couldn't sustain their form though, with a defeat to Derby County offsetting a run of eight defeats from their final 19 games, with the killer blow being a 2 0 defeat at St. James's Park in March. And so it was the playoffs where they were easily dismantled by Blackpool. West Brom 06 07. It doesn't matter so much now because because West Brom have been promoted twice since, but every now and then the Baggies might look back at the 06-07 season and wonder how it was Derby County and not them which made the step up into the Premier League. You would have thought the Baggies would have been better equipped, they at least had a bit of firepower about them, having scored a league high 81 goals that season. A win over Cardiff in late February kept them in second and stretched their unbeaten home run to 9, before Tony Mowbray's men at the bed and won 2 of their next 10 games, throwing 6 defeats in there for good measure. They finished the season with a couple of wins, including a a 7-0 thumping of Barnsley, but the damage was already done and they'd have to settle for the playoffs, where they somehow managed to get done over in the final by what would soon be the worst team that has ever dared to call themselves a Premier League side. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.